All right. So I picked this up uh, because I enjoy the Warhammer lore and stuff, and it looked like an interesting game. Um, I don't know if it's going to be a great streaming game, but uh, we're going to try it out. We're going to see what it's going to do. Mm, motion blur, no. I hate motion blur. I'll take bloom, I'll take reflections, everything else, but... Oh, shit. Ah, oh, okay, cool, it's it. But let's try this out. Ooh. might do that and then if I play it again in the future maybe I'll bump it up but I, I want to do Iron Man mode that's the most difficult to oh. uh, percentage awakening gauge I wonder if that's like um, so there's another game I like to play um, that I probably should do on stream sometime um, but it's the ship combat one, uh, battle battle fleet, um, and you can turn off the. There's like a a, a gauge, a, a, a thing that counts upwards, and if it ever reaches the end of the bar, uh, you just auto lose. And I've never really cared for, you know, stuff that's just like ah, you just lose, you know, for no reason. Um, I don't know. That might be what that is. I think we'll keep it as just standard with Iron Man for now. The 41st millennium, a time of darkness and war. Imperium of Man claims the whole galaxy in the name of the God Emperor. Yeah, clear, clear out the Xenos and the heretics and, and other horrible things. Adeptus Mechanicus is, you know. trying to get technology, build more crazy shit, you know, crush the enemies. Interestingly, uh, when I played the tabletop version of uh, Warhammer 40k, I actually played one of the Xenos races. Uh, I played Necron, because uh, mechanical space zombies are badass. Um, I might have to adjust the volume a little bit. We'll see once we get in game. Uh, I kind of like that. So the whole thing with the tech priests um, is they're more or less becoming robotic as time goes on. Like they, they replace parts of themselves and connect themselves more and more with the machine um and so i kind of like that it it doesn't it, the, the the voice line for that was completely mechanical it wasn't like it didn't have a human or anything <laughs> I guess I should probably be reading these since it's not actually, like, translating out. Uh, we are weaker than ever, though the Imperium at large knows it not. This represents an unknown but possible key to victory. An opportunity to research, perhaps avert the ill fate that has befallen us. The transmission torches is, is Silva Tenebris? 
and then Tenebris and right up, something like that. Part of the Emesis Solaris within Ultima Segmentum. Search the rolls, ready to scatter them. Uh, they like to screw with words a lot in, in 40k lore and stuff, so yeah, everything's kind of named a little bit weird sometimes. mission and follows me here give thanks that you will see what i have seen but be wary my fellow seekers of knowledge whatever lies beneath this world i fear i hope i have awoken it i came to this world to investigate its ruins but i found so much more terrors yes threats to body and soul but by the omnisaya i found such wonders <laughs> this is the last transmission of Magos. Res, uh, Resac? I'm gonna say it's Resac. Uh, he vanished while on an explorator mission to investigate Xeno's structures on Silva Tenebris. Tenebris? Tenebris. I think that's all we're gonna try to say with that. Don't, don't quote me on it. It probably is gonna change. Hypothesis, he found something. Our mission on this world is to ascertain the Xenos presence, and if we find it, eliminate it as a threat to the Imperium. The opening of the Great Divide means we can call on no additional support from the Forge worlds. We must achieve this with the troops and resources we bring with us. Benefit analysis, peace for sector, knowledge for mankind, potential and opportunity. Bunch of pluses. An opportunity to destroy the works of the Xenos, uh, Gala Bola, not appropriate them. Thymiscrian Manuscript, verse 619. What the enemy built, let it be made asunder, for to us it will be as a house of sand and knives. Magi, we appreciate the target coordinates. That looks like a lot of errors on our ship. Enjoy the books though from this stuff too. Uh, I think this the storyline of this was written uh, by a one of the uh, authors from some of the books. Um, they call it the Black Library. For I don't know. There's there's probably hundreds of books at this point um, from all different authors and stuff. They all pretty good the ones I've read uh, there she is Tem uh, temperate climate atmosphere standard breathable my Skitari troops should be able to operate down there without trouble now I'm getting text messages oh I got a text message 41 minutes ago it says oh it's uh, spam fantastic are they ready to make landfall yes yes they are Soon as they're in a stable equilibrium. Administratium records indicate a single colony. Saint uh, Eric Hartz, 
Hope on the surface near the Xenos ruins. No contact recorded in two centuries. Colony presumed failed. Skatari had fled the surface near the ruins along with a team of tech priests under my direct command. I shall march from the command throne on board. Cerberus Skull Redditus will serve as my eyes on the surface. We make landfall at once. Yes, Magos. Uh, I'll set up a forward command post. Uh, Resax transmission looked like it came from underground. We'll secure any entrances to an underground structure so Tech Priest can begin the exploration. And we have found a new sector. Uh, this tomb reeks of stale, dusty uh, antiquity. Its once stern architecture is littered with debris and tarnished with the patina of age. Uh, here and there, fissures uh, in the structure cast feeble light over cracked and tarnished metal. The tomb was once brutalist and impressive, as if designed to crush the spirits of its inhabitants. It is no less intimidating now, but instead of invoking a merciless guiding intelligence, it speaks only of decline and of death. This place seems abandoned at first glance, but as the exploratory troops move through its hushed corridors, the ancient dust stirs and something long dead begins to take on. Uh, a fascinating of life. Is that how you say that word? I don't know. Going by our fragmentary information, it looks like a buried tomb structure. The sword of the Autodesai is ready to fall. We deploy immediately. Let secrets of, let secrets of this world equal zero. Council Caution Magos Postinius? I don't know. Our purpose should be here to destroy the threat of the alien, not to bask in its blasphemy. Aphorisms of the Logic Saint 7.91. In the presence of the Xenos lies the invisible miasma of corruption. Destruction is not possible from orbit by Dex. The structure is too deeply buried. In Scavola. I have no intention of plundering whatever trinkets I can find from this place. Nah, man, we gon' we gon' plunder the shit out of it. All right. Our tech priests are inside the tomb, ready to proceed. There's no telling what we may find. My men will hold the perimeter. The folly to commit to our whole manpower to the unknown, especially when the potential of a moral threat exists uh, that the Skitari are less able to withstand. I have the greatest respect for my Skitari, but they are still far from the ascension that a tech priest affords. I agree, Sabina. I shall lead the mission in person for the command room. Super Skull Radius shall be my eyes and ears. I'll decide be praised. We're going in. Mechanicus are a curious breed. They explore and interact with machines they do not fully understand. In this tutorial, you'll have uh, to explore the interface to discover what to do. Like a true tech priest, you must experience, uh, experiment in order to learn. We'll help you out this one time. Left mouse button uh, to click on the adjacent room. Go, my tech priests! But all the Xenos. Oh, please. I'm going to play some uh, Tarkov later on. Buddy might just message me. It's like, okay. Uh, Xenos hieroglyphs. I know of them. <laughs> Necron's mysterious, ill researched, corruptive. This could be a rare sample of the Necron language, Magus. We have barely any knowledge of it. Collecting data from this obelisk could move our understanding of the language ahead for the first time in centuries. It's my peoples! It's the Necrons! This is the work of the alien. Uh, Codex Fulminatus. Fulminatus, yeah. 
8312, show caution and score into all things. Okay, so we have to feedback important information while they encounter in the room. These situations require your commander to make decisions. There will be consequences, so choose wisely. So we can destroy it. Um, it's an obelisk like object covered in what can only be described as hieroglyphic symbols. It almost reaches the tall ceiling of this chamber. We can examine it, or we can secure. Spike from inside the tomb. Something's happening. Something huge. Uh-oh. Uh, Noctilith source detected, also known as Blackstone. Request collection immediate. Hey! As one of the tech priests kneel to get a closer look at the obelisk, it seems to react to the cohort's presence. The obelisk splits open and a powerful, painful wave of exotic energy spills out. Inside are clustered formations of a rare looking material. Nice. Alright, so we got some free stuff. And then we have some servitors and we have initiative advantage. Mechanicals uh, is what my face is covered. We're gonna channel our inner tech priest, I think. I love the little, the little face up here at the top left of the dude watching. I'm interested to see how this combat is going to work. It's supposed to be like a tactical sort of combat. Necron! Sack did encounter them after all, no wonder he didn't make it off this planet. Every date we have says they are as deadly as they are in human. Cohorts encounters resistance in the form of Xenos constructs, not flesh and blood creatures, but artificial bodies that move with precision and coordination. Uh, so we can crusade, take an aggressive stance, uh, ensures they will not be outmaneuvered, but risks their running headlong into the fire of the enemy. We could exercise extreme caution, do not charge in too heedlessly, lest the trickery of the alien be our downfall or consistency. Follow the established combat engagement protocols. It shall be done by the book. Um, slow advance, risk grading the enemy the opportunity to execute an ambush. Well, that's unfortunate. Ooh, uh, there's a Necron trooper right there. I love it. Look at my little Necron friends. Uh, yep, we've detected Necrons. Weird disc cognitors now function for synthetic forms. Overwhelming excitement. Finally, we can study the standard construct Necron warrior. Weak spots detected, none concerning. I uh, wonder about the symbols emblazoned on their torsos. It must. So that is their. Uh, that symbol there is like their house, I guess, would be the best descriptor. I don't know if it'll tell us that. Don't underestimate Goss weaponry. Highly volatile. Yeah, they're really cool, and uh, the reason I play them, or used to play them, and the actual, like, uh, tabletop was because like all their weapons uh, have the ability to damage like pretty much anything uh, any vehicle kind of stuff because like there's like a armor stuff it's usually troops can't really do damage to armored vehicles and I can say screw that we can just you know blast through anything 
part of our brothers and sisters of the mechanics who lost their lives trying to solve the mysteries of the Xenos weapons. Approach with caution. I was also double checking Cognitors. So it's widely known that they will self repair and reanimate or reconstruct themselves if left the time to do so. Wounds that would instantly kill a Skitari are the equivalent to a glass sea graze to Necrons. That's the other thing. They're basically zombies. Love it. Necron warriors. Kill all enemies. Location of the summer field of battle. As soon as I'm highlighted square, click on the square to place it. Okay. These probably are cover. Let them go there. I want to be careful about where I place them. phase. Yeah, that, that looked like a Necron shot. Your unit, click, blew out one surrounding your unit, then you can confirm the movement to the crime or no spot anywhere. But we definitely want him to move forward. Plus one cognition. you. Good, good. Mm -hmm. I don't know if this is worthwhile. 
collecting all the cognition points, but I figure, what the hell. Oh, they recharge. Oh. So I can deploy servitors to the battlefield. Deploy two of them. These fools should not be okay. So my cannon fodder are these guys basically. I guess that makes sense, huh? Well, let's have him move in. And then he's going to smack the shit out of the Necron. Ah, okay, good, good to know. So, he's still injured slightly because of that fight. But, considering that we only have a few more places to go, I'm not too concerned. But look, there's a thing here. It's in this room. Sarcophagi, coffins, burial braces, structural purpose, designation tomb. The chamber ahead are several groups of structures, like upright coffins of an unknown material. Uh... No, let's scan them. We're not destroying them. Oh, yeah, that checks out. Examine the sarcophagi. Note that each contains a necron or form within its heavily armored exterior. They're drawing power from somewhere. Yep, that checks out. Because these are how oh, necrons basically have been around since before time of any time. Like they are some of the oldest critters. They're originally the necrotire, and they made a deal with uh, star gods basically the middle of the suns and that deal eventually became bad for them they became these the warriors that are left over uh but they are immortal which i mean you know that's a thing chamber for several minutes. A tile underfoot clicks. The sound of whirling energy builds up around your troops. Quick omni-spec scan reveals you're surrounded on all side by Xenos. Here we go. Kill all enemies. That's just a couple of... Oh! Alright, let's see. So he has... 8 meter range pew pew laser which would probably be really nice to have close by oh can I heal? no ah and I can deploy the servitors if I want because I have cognition left over Oh, 
we'll deploy a couple of them. Actually, what the hell, let's deploy all of the servitors. Probably take some damage. Yeah. Very nice. So we get points each time they're hurt. Thank you, Necrons. I think if we move here, and then use this, we can potentially do some good damage against that. Cool. Beast kill. Nice. Uh, use that. Scarabs. That's uh, gonna be great. Opportunity for which gather must obtain required source data surface. No life forms. Area safe. Continue forward. Verify your cognitors, then tell me what surfaced. Scarabs of an unknown Xenos race. Synthetic, possibly artificial intelligence. One species gathered. AI theory equal false. Our weeks of study showed there are many variants of Scarab, which the controls in the Xenos economy and architecture. Able to build and deconstruct anything they encounter. Able to repair other units within their species with lightning speed. Be wary, they are deadly in uh, large scarabs. Basically, scarabs are annoying. very annoying. Can I rotate? Oh, there we go. Yep, I can. Good. Alright, so. Scarabs are assholes. to Servitor. Alright, I want him to move forward. Go engage the Necron. Oh! Hey, that's not nice. Excuse you. You should not be doing that. Pew. Oh, it's 
still alive. Fantastic. Alright, uh, this one. And now, smack him. Perfect. Love it. God damn it. More of them coming out of that thing. Cool. Awesome. Don't have to worry about the scarabs then. We can just... Alright. Significant importance to your mission. Yep, we gonna take all the stuff. So basically, if we want to learn more about the Necrons and why they're here, why this tome, tomb exists, you know. And uh, he's like, brah, yeah, our stuff doesn't talk very well because, you know, they alien. Take us to this priest. I could be of assistance. Approved. Severic in his face. Complete. Hard to decipher purpose. List of suggestions. Deconstruct device. Activate switch mechanism. Learn language and return later. What will it be, sire? So, you know. Use ferric interference. Disconnect. Urge reset. Disconnect complete. Possible scrap code. We're fragment now. Fragmenting. Sire, we have unfavorable issue to deal with. Requesting a, domin a dominus input. Cognitors glitch, augmentations, entered sporadic reaction protocols, and have fried vital sign uh, regatories. Unclear full damage report. Necron device is now active. Remove yourself from the new sphere. This report. Tomb is awakening. Reports from Skitari cohorts across the planet. No tremors vex their locals. Lost contact with the Skitari that were covering the entrance. We can hear noises of approaching forces. The Necrons are coming! Oh, hang on. Ah. Through protection protocols, load weapons, ready for what is to come. We must face the Xenos. I wake with the turning of aeons. Stars yet burn, life yet blossoms. Is it truly time? <laughs> agro -lek. One of the Necrons. Fantastic. Thrones of Mars. What is that? Or what was that? Transmission, mute constructs, not only inhabitants of the structure. What is this? Flesh and steel combined. A mockery of both. Their every footstep a blasphemy. What manner of galaxy is this into which I have awoken? Xenos war form sighted. Exotic energy signatures. Doesn't mean Xenos abominatus 
High value target confirmed. The hunt is on. What are your orders? Cohort reaches a large chamber beneath the first layers of the Xenos ruins. Uh, bridges stretch from balancing platforms, barely holding themselves together, while rubber falls from the high walkways like breadcrumbs, escaping into the abyss below. So we can either fall back and try to recover our tech priests. We can ca uh, contain the Xenos and return it to uh, Catus Metallican intact so it can be vivisected and studied, or we can attempt to stand our ground and shoot them all. Oh, and capture my ground. Nope, you got this. Insect. This galaxy is infested with vermin. Green light flickers into life from within the shadows. The cohort prepares for the worst as skeletal silhouettes start to form in front of the shadows. Well, we're fighting. No vivisections. Survive six rounds. Find battle with tutorial. Apply what you have learned. Strive to obtain victory. Uh, uh, uh. All right, so, uh, ooh. ooh, he's gonna be a problem. Lots of Necro warriors. Oh, this is uh, a little bit spicy. Let's try to stay out of shot range of him, because he's going to be able to shoot, I think, along this path. And I think these will provide cover. Uh, no, actually, we're going to keep the back one. And then let's deploy our two higher health servitors. I sailed the void for a thousand years. I fought the war in heaven. What can you do to strike fear in one such as I? Not a lot. You're gonna hurt. Oh, great. All right, so, uh, hmm. let's delay his turn. Uh, so I can shoot him. It's probably a good thing to do. Oof. He has 29 health and he has 5 defense against, uh... You know what? We're gonna move in and we're gonna slash him with this. More damage, critical. I should have done that with the other guy too. The other tech priest. Um, I think we're just gonna hold. Still uh, in my last servitor. That might be a good idea. Cesar 
Paragon. This is probably gonna hurt. Oh. So now he's got armor against straight up smacks. Okay. I can work with that. Spirit. That's okay. Grab the cognition. That's all the types of damage I can do for this troop. Servitors begin smackers. Sad days. When my fleet sails once more, vermin like you shall be strung from my prow. Okay, cool. He swapped over to the other type. Oh. Well, my tech priest is gonna die soon. Unfortunately, I'm going to sacrifice the tech priest. Three to five damage. Five damage, good. Now I'm gonna steal some more cognition. It's not gonna help me, but. Well, they didn't completely kill the gods. At least not some of them. Oh, shit. Wow. Cool. This might do enough damage to break it. Nope, it didn't. him to 
just start running. Have him just run back here behind us. You know what? That actually probably would have been a good defensive position. Oh, okay, never mind. Vartek Priest died. Oh, we failed that one. No matter the cost, we will succeed. Yay! All the Necrons are spawning. Yep. Omnisaya, preserve us. Turn sorrow and despair from my emotional cores, but I see the lack of logic to determine decision making. Instead, I choose to quarantine them and adjust our approach. The word of the Omnisaya teaches us that when one method fails, another must be sought until all are exhausted. What are your orders? Yep, yep, we're gonna do this little by little, which would have made more sense. Leader forms of Necrons rarely ever observe potential, but less intelligence on Necron added to some of human knowledge. Imperative focus on acquiring artifacts, intelligence, data. Hold your blasphemous tongue. We counsel the abandonment of our very souls, life of the Archmagos Boris's Appendix 9. Our only objective should be death to the alien and all his works. All else is deviance from the Omnisaya Creed. And then go to victory. Yeah, yeah. I enjoy this. This, this is just entertaining to me. Because I've done coding and stuff, and it's just this fun little kind of sort of connected to... Heresy. In our purpose, we are united. This is the will of the Omnisaya. It shall be done. the structure that they found gives me grave concern. Exain explain, Xenobiologists. Necron country forms are waking up. Seems Megos Resac accidentally began the process of our intrusion into the structure. Hastened it. Necron reanimation protocols are continuing in the tomb we entered, and from the energy spikes across the region, there are other structures yet to be uncovered. Locate these structures, contain the constructs within. It may not be enough. I've detected repeating pattern in the reanimation protocols and those necrons are awakening. They are speeding up. As they do. Necrons are machines. Machines act according to patterns and programs. The reanimation protocols continue to accelerate. They will fully awaken every necron on this planet in 264 hours, given the extent of the varied structures that will constitute a necron army beyond the mission's ability to contain. And our time here is limited. Ah, so I think I'm right. I think this is going to be that auto in-game thing on missions will affect the overall number of missions we'll be able to deploy. Skitari scouting parties to discover other tombs, create forward positions for your high priority mission, sire. Dreadon Silva Tenebris is not assessed and eliminated before free full reanimation is reached, we'll be forced to abandon the planet. Over in the top left corner, we have a Necron Awakening Meter. 
information in tech before reaching 100%. Okay. <laughs> I feel fear too. That is the part of my humanity I've chosen to retain, but I can quarantine it in my neuro vaults and choose instead to focus on what must be done. We must choose our missions wisely. Which will not be easy. The Omnissiah did not send us here to do anything easy. The threat to humanity pre uh, present on this world will be eliminated, or we shall not leave. Thus, the equation is balanced. It is the will of the machine god. Uh, so we found a new sector. Tomb bathed in a sickly green light that serves not to illuminate, but only to make the shadows deeper. The surface... Uh, every surface seems connected via filament of alien light. The designs here speak of Xeno's tech heresy, forbidden knowledge in a structure as alive and aware as anything inhabiting it. Early exploratory readings indicate the walls are made of a substance not known to the rituals of metal metallurgy. Uh, abstract designs carved into the substance suggest unknown regions of space mapped according to some alien understanding. The weight of such blasphemy slows the steps of the first troops to enter here. The heresies of knowledge are deadly enough, but it seems unlikely that they are the only dangers. Oh, look at this! A bunch of tech priests. Mark Mechanic is class battleship. Class of ship is one of the largest in the Imperium and is only afforded to the Adeptus Mechanicus. So, from here you'll be able to customize your tech priests and prepare for missions ahead. You can select missions from character portraits on the left of the screen. Before we go on a mission, we should inspect, equip our tech priests, head over to the Cohort tab. Cohort's quarters, here you can see all available tech priests and troop units currently unlocked. Troop units are shown at the top of the screen. You can see what skill each troop has available and all statistics. Tech priests are shown in the bottom six slots. Hey, didn't you all die? Rank one. Oh yeah, so I can level them up that way. Change a bunch of stuff. So we have upgrade points. Okay. Alright, so he's got 
like that. Slash a slash. It also has the pew pew. So we might as well, oh. Interesting. So he can only have... Maybe I have to level him up. Um, let's do... I don't like that plus four to range weapons, but let's make him the healer. He could be a range dude. No, let's see. If he can have both on there. But I think I'm gonna try to keep him back. So we can't do anything with the Servitor. Let's jump over the tech. Okay, cool. Yeah, so we can get better stuff. Okay, yeah, yeah. Support base seals. Good, good. Okay. Troops. Ship of heads. And their prayers that can be used in game. Unlock by completing the quest there, let's do it for each. So these three don't have anything, so I, I have these two sectors. Well, let's, uh... So the thing with the pew pew laser. So they cost nothing to put them in, so hey, you know, why not? Yeah. Let's do it. Uh, yep, talking to the dude. No obstacle ground capability to count C1. Necessary use of power, power waste resources. Insufficient use go to automatic bay for er, uh, augmentic bay for improvements. As soon as tomb rebuilt to us, we can be long, seeks to consume blasphemy leaks. 
destroy. Let the stench of corruption be swept aside by the sweet winds of faith. Since her servitors will cleanse the spiritual corruption with blessed incense. Deploy one immediately. Avnasaya. I want that laser though. Look at this. This is a cool. Fragile indeed are the tools of the righteous must be escorted on its sacred duty. It's worth the risk. I assure you, it most definitely is. Party side to the head, foresaw your emotional connection to your troops. If you are ever to be uh, Dominus, I must show you how to connect. Xenos corruption will destroy as surely as the guns of the enemy. His will be done. Okay. So, I think they're gonna spawn there. So if I go one, two, three... See, this one here is just gonna be a problem, so I might have to just sweep in there. Let's go heal up. Traversing this chamber, the sensor servitor crosses a part of the floor that collapses under the machine's weight. Servitor is trapped at the bottom of a shaft of machinery and pipework and must be extracted. Fashion a system of pulleys and ropes to haul the machine out of the hole. Uh, exhort the servitor to overload its magnetic levitation service or climb into the hole and haul it out manually. Let's do pulleys. <laughs> Solution lies in the application of tech lore. Meditate on this revelation. Makeshift pulley system takes a long time to set up, but once it's in place, the task of extracting. Okay, cool. So we get a couple of cognition, but the Necrons need to do stuff. That's, uh. I think what we're gonna do, we're gonna try to sweep around in a way. Because if they're there. Might as well just go searching. Don't damage the machine. Okay. Servitor begins emitting a loud blaring noise, perhaps a form of tampering or damage alarm that has been accidentally tripped. The noise is accompanied by flashing lights and random bursts of extremely pungent incense. Ignore the noise. No time to deal with this. Diagnose the problem of errant parts on the servitor. The machine must be protected. Destroy the offending units on the servitor. It must be done quickly. Now well, let's fix it, I guess. Coward expert. Uh, the diagnostic to take some time, but quickly notices a cranial probe improperly jammed into one of the uh, cortical sockets. Once it's removed from the servitor's non-standard behavior, ceases, and the cohort has a new appreciation for the proper maintenance and function of such machines. Tomb's awakening level. Hmm. I have a feeling that that's going to climb as I move more. Look at that. Up. Necrons are waking. Yep. The longer you spend in a tomb, the harder the mission becomes. Isn't without reward. There are unknown amounts of lost knowledge to be found. No good at all. Xeno's corruption takes physical form in this murky fog. Can anything be done? Uh, miasma fumes the Xeno machinery in this area, masking the servitor's sacred incense. Scour away the corruption of flame. Live with its press. Purge with prayer. Purge with flame! Prayer has power, but I cannot deny fire does too. Righteous flame scours away the miasma, allowing the cohort to advance. The sight of sheets of flame burning away the toxic fog is indeed inspiring. 
damn straight it is. Alright, so they know we're here. Non-standard behavior. Excuse the bill, meaning this task was to take this machine. You are the deviancy of thine own tools, for the enemy finds his entrance thereby. Previously unused box caster unit pops out of the servitor's face panel in a synthesized voice that attempts to engage the cohort in philosophical discussion. Uh, let's diagnose the machine. Oh. Lengthy but comprehensive diagnostic indicates uh, invasive element in the biological cortex that contains the servitor's operating system, a data chip inserted by an unknown person many years ago. With the chip removed, the servitor ceases its wayward communication, continues in silence. So they get a little bit more spicy, but we get a scanner, aggressive data mining device replaced by the noosphere around the time of the Horus heresy. Scanner's primary function is to gather data from enemies at a much faster rate, whilst keeping tech priests at a safe distance. So you can extract more stuff. Cool. I don't know what happens if we go up here. Fuck you, too. Sup? Oh, a glyph. Oh. Panel controls a heavy door leading to the treasure room beyond which is filled with cognition. If we can work out the right commands, we can reap the rewards within. Uh, fuck. This one. Container of some sort, semi raw binary, seething within. Clearly. Uh, it is of Xenos origin. Sparks of data leak through the aged sealant used to contain the treasure. Okay, so I healed damage I didn't need to heal, but that's okay. So we chastise for maintenance failure. This will be done, let it be done quickly. Since the servitor stops moving, starts belching <laughs> pungent smoke. Runes of attention are blinking on its chassis, indicate several key systems require maintenance. The entire rite of refurbishment, including the incantation of seven diagnostic processes and addendum fabricators, perform the most perfunctory rites of repairing, perform the ritual replacement on the servitor's key systems. Let's do all of it. Fuck it. If it is worth doing, it is worth doing to completion. It's fine, it's just more enemies. It's fine, it's fine. One turn faster, yay. Xenos map. Chamber's walls are covered in elaborate star charts, covered in extensive annotations in the Necron language, suggesting they record journeys among the stars. Um, let's take pictures of them. More stuff for upgrades. Alright, to the objective point. We made it a little bit harder for ourselves. There's going to be more enemies, and they'll reanimate faster. But, we've got a lot of upgrade points. <sighs> yeah, I'm aware they're going to come faster. Oh, kill all enemies. I wonder what that is, then. Are you the servitor? Sure, let's do that. They're gonna start blasting. Or maybe they won't. 
out of range. Damn it. Huh. So I can scan that. Money. Cool. Fire. Ha. Ah, he defended. Fantastic. So I can use a point to get in closer. And then slash him in half. Good, good. Yep. Recognition point. Oh, can't shoot. He's in the way. Damn it. Well, let's go ahead. Kill. Teleported away somewhere far beyond our reach. In practical terms, this means we've killed him. Yeah, except the Necrons always come back. They always come back. Oh, that's kind of cool. I didn't know it did that. So I could collect that if I wanted to. I see. Oh shit, and more than that. Out. I wonder if I can destroy that. I really don't want to deploy the servitors, though I guess I should. Eh, fuck it. Deploy servitors. For the Omnissiah! tried to move. What a poor decision on that Necron troop. Go my servitors. was not nice. Oh, they can continue awakening. That is a problem. Servitors start moving forward. Let's move on here. Oh, 
requires a... Uh, well, fuck. Okay, we'll go claim that. I didn't notice that my weapon was down there, so... Slash. Great. Cognition point. No threats for me. Since our servitor reaches a location where the air currents through the tomb, we'll take its sacred exudations to every corner of the tomb. The cohort guards it until its incest is fully deployed and can escort it back to the tomb entrance. Good, good. Yep. Right and proper to see you do the sea as I do the dangers posed by the corruptive influence of the Xenos. Yeah, at least it's it's we've done stuff. The weak in mind will seek to understand the Xenos. The strong will destroy them and bless their ignorance. Okay, since he was hurt, he takes some... of the craft. Next physical attack will deal plus three damage. Something new I can deploy then. Alright, so now we've got some new stuff. Ah, okay, so I would have to completely remove... You know what? I'm okay with that, though. Give him the super cool rifle. Because he gets plus four to his weapons range, so that makes it 19. But he doesn't have any augment slots remaining. I could remove that. part for this discipline. Plus two max HP. Okay, arm. Um I mean let's go the distance man. Okay, perfect. So. Oh, check that out. He's got little, little pizzas now. Replaced his legs with little pizzas. I like it. It's, it's kind of funny. Ah, it cost me an augment slot though. That's okay. Three HP and three meters of movement. I think that's pretty good. So you are going to start to become more and more of my melee guy. So let's give you a little healing back. solid things. 
So he can repair, cleanse stuff, and he can smack a smack a. I think that's a good mix there. This one. So I think upgrading our servitors would be nice. We're gonna go up against flayed ones. And kineptic uh ac aganthrite. We'll see. Let's add that. derelict in our duty whenever we allow corruption to plague the minds of good men. Oh yeah. Box casters. Transmitted to the very heart of the Necron's resting place. Based in the sacred binary of the Omnisaya. When thou uh, disrest to discourse, purely use binary. Desirous? It might have been desirous. This is not, not a good idea, but okay. bullets above blades care for your soul above all his will be done all right so we have two different locations and then we have two glyph things which will be fun <laughs> go reduce the xenos There we go. Look at that thing. like the survive things but I guess that kind of makes sense I wonder if I could uh, would be nice to go maybe it'd be worth going this way grabbing this and maybe setting up a defense area it's only three rounds so it's not as bad Collect cognition. I don't have enough to fire. Sedes. Retrieve cognition. And then that requires one to use, so we are just going to keep moving this way. He has. Oh, look, a flayed one. Necron in its infant state. I'm sure of life one progression. Yeah. 
signs of degradation, deformed segmentation, physiological deformities, possible solution, infant disease, parasitic life form that represents form of ripped flesh. In my heart. Oh, that's not nice. I do not have. So that is one downside to using. Uh, but we can do this. One damage. So let me scan this and get black stones. Perfect. can't do an attack of opportunity. But I can position myself. Like right here. It's not very nice. I need to deploy servitors though, because he's getting some hurt. Uh, fuck, I can only deploy one. Um, deploy that servitor there. Yeah, I really should not have uh, given him this big laser. Like, it's good, 
but I can't shoot it just because of the fact that I just can't generate enough stuff. Though I guess I could be standing underneath one of those. That might be a better place to be if I start moving in this way. I think this Magnus is going to die, though. Because I just do not have Anything. Fuck you. Yeah. Oh, look how far he can He died. Steal the cognition. Whoa, fire. Good shot. Servitor, so I can keep my laser gun. That's a pretty good shot. Fire. Boom, baby. Maybe we will actually be able to survive this. Let's try to pull them closer. Spirit. Okay. He's almost dead. Move him forward a little bit because I want him to get shot. So it keeps giving me those points. Servitors dying mean nothing to me. Fire. Right. That got vaporized. Perfect. Machine spirit. Oh, damn, I can't see him from there. Okay, uh. Well, fuck a doodle do. I guess let's move here. Let's 
still have zero line of sight up there. I don't know what happens when that blows up. He lived. Stop trying to target that. Kill him. Okay. That was the first fight of this tomb. Is a chatter of binary. You have against transmitting complex binary. You have the volume the same. Prayers are loud enough as it is. Prayers should be cleansed. Let the enemy tremble before his word. Um, let's crank it. Maximum volume turns out to be tremendous, scattering some of the Necron sarcophagi. Warrior forms contained within will not be attacking in the foreseeable future. Nice. Now this is a problem though down here. Try to slam through their face. Sign Necron creature exudes. Uh, this one. All right, cool. data should be acquired. This chamber large slab of metal resembles an altar, images glowing skull-like necron faces. Seal the chamber off, find the other way around, shatter, destroy with demo charges, defile. What's defile? go. We're going into the last fight pretty weak, but... Fuck. The enemy rushes to action when the administration's cause in fear. A swarm of tiny scarab-like constru constructs emerge from the apparatus on the walls, from its scurrying all over the vast box caster, chewing through its casing with their steel mandibles. Creepy box cast before destroyed. It can be deployed elsewhere. The righteous application of blame. Purge or punish. Uh. Purge. 
enough fire in the right place can solve any problem. Blow torches, plasma crucibles make short work of the scarabs. Mission complete. Protect the shield of the mind and the body will be shielded there. Gonna be cleansing the aliens. Uh, not yet decided we should commit to such extremes. Feel multiple emotions. Logical analysis. All competing for primacy in my neurovolts. Mission here may not be as simple as you think. Spirit can make the right choice when the time comes. Recall the words of the fabricator, General Plut Plutonis. The eyes of the Omnisai are ever upon us. For the Omnisai. 130 points. Laser is extremely powerful, but with it using up points like that, it's really annoying. It's almost worth giving him the scanner as well, so that he could just be generating his own points. Consistently and then spin around and use them to shoot. And he. I want to try to use him as my tank. That's kind of my idea with this guy. So I should give him this, I think. But I could give him a little blaster pistol. him a little bit of something to poke because he can generate one of his own points yeah level two okay normal difficulty. Mm, I don't know about that. This game seems to be kind of kind of an asshole at times. Good. Good. Yep. Become the primary target enemies. Okay, so he, they now have taunt. That's nice. Gonna go in against artifacts. Go to different mission. Watch your brother, for his sin of heresy is thy sin of tolerance. Wonders, opportunity, secrets, rare transfer, discovery, intelligence on Xenos must not fail to exploit. Your enthusiasm eludes me, Tech Inquisitor. My emotional cores return only peril to our mission, personnel, and the threat of the awakening aid of that Zeus. Yeah, they're not much for the good of all. Mm -hmm. 
Catterfield specimen. Commence immediately. Okay. Plenty of samples there for you to collect. Dissection after the fact. Location identification and execution to your text priests. Opportunity to study the effects of Necron technology on human flesh. How nice. We have such a good good person on our team. Okay. Chamber had suffered damage from the shifting of the landscape above. Several dozen tiny beetle-shaped constructs are scurrying about industriously as they repair the damage. Sure. Yeah, let's use a little bit of time to do it. Not an individual resource. Scarab swarm out from a previously unseen aperture, revealing they must have a system of passageways throughout the tomb. Cool. Let's go break into this. Alright. Heavy door leading to a treasure room. Filled with cognition. Uh, this one. Oh. That's unfortunate. We could go back and hit this door. No, let's go this way. We're not going to worry about that cliff. Yes, I know. They know I'm here. Combat tactics weaponry. Chamber shows. Having been the scene of a brutal gunfight, two Skritari lie dead with marks from Goth blasts all over the walls. Eulogize, say a prayer. I memorize the lost. Salvage what gear you can. After all, it's a waste to leave them behind. Examine the chamber for data from the combat that took place. Uh, grab what they can. Low ranking troops carry little valuable or exotic gear. Koher is instead exposed to the grotesque nature sections of the flesh, teleported away as it peeled away layers of an onion, leaving flaking strata of muscle and bone exposed. Delicious. Fantastic. Acquire at all costs. War forms remains after the rest of the fallen constructs teleport away. Fades in and out of reality as if about to disappear. Um, extrapolate. Era 404 data does not conform to known reality. Currently, there's only one enemy. So if we push fast, we could potentially secure him. Okay, so I could deploy servitors right now. Run him all the way to here. Oh, wait, this is Magnus. Okay, so no, you need to go scan. Yes. Yep. So I could. 
could have him use one of the points up to try to move more. Oh, shit. Not what I was trying to do. Oh, well. Uh, you can just come stand right here and shoot at him. Ah, yeah, that's right. Uh, there we go. So we're gonna just shoot. Oh, wow. We insta killed him. Wow. That's where that arc laser could be really helpful. Necrons deploy teleportation to achieve post destruction decorporation. Where did the remains now? No samples behind. Analyze. Oh, look, we got a, an extra little stabby stabby. Mission complete. Destroyed is less than zero. Combat performance, chances of functioning Necron available for dissection increased. Interesting. We killed one enemy. Perfect. Look at this. Look, look at this. More stuff we're getting. Ooh. Maximum cognition increase. Skatari Ranger and an additional. Oh, oh, a death mark. That's their sniper. They were badass. But I think. Uh, let's see. Just for funsies. I don't know. Another part of me feels like it may be worth. So, a little part of me does feel like kind of resetting this, though, and turning off this. Because this is annoying to me, just because I, I've i always hated these types of, like, oh, you know, racing against a clock sort of thing. But, that's something I think I'll have to think about. Um, and maybe come back around to that later on. But I'm enjoying this. This is an interesting game. It's got some interesting mechanics. So uh, I'll probably keep playing this, and probably here in a little bit though, I will do some Escape from Tarkov for anyone that wants to watch. <laughs>